Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. So I wanted to first thank you guys for all of your kind words and your encouragement on the fall decorate with me series that I uploaded last week here on my channel. Um, those particular videos, if you miss them, I will link them in the description box below this video, but that particular series I like to do uh, every single fall. I also do one for the holidays as well. I am someone who is a huge fan of um, decorating my house. <laughs> I think I have an insanely creative mind and since I am not currently doing a lot of floral orders, um, I am a florist, I um, it's kind of hard for me because I feel like I have all of this like pent up creativity that I'm just, I'm not expressing via flowers right now. And so I kind of feel like I just take it out on my house. <laughs> I am constantly cleaning, rearranging, redecorating, moving things around, um, just kind of tweaking things here and there to make it feel as cozy and warm and inviting, but also aesthetically pleasing as possible, at least to my eyes. I do think that home decor is very personal and I do wanna acknowledge the way that I decorate. Um, may not be super practical for a lot of you guys. Um, I certainly go overboard. I will 100% own that. Um, but I just kind of always have. I remember my first apartment out of college with my girlfriend. Um, my girlfriend had no interest in really decorating the place, but for me it was like, oh, this, like, this is now my home. Like, this is my first home that isn't a dorm and like I can go and I can buy, you know, pictures that I want to put on the wall. And, you know, this is my first time not having like dorm decor up. I just, I got really excited about it. Like I just, I fell in love with it as soon as I got my first place. And ever since then, the obsession has just kind of continued. And when we moved into this house, it was like, I mean, this is this house is like a decorator's dream. There are so many beautiful areas in this house. There are two absolutely gorgeous fireplaces that I fell in love with when we first looked at this place. Um, it's just a very warm, welcoming home, and I like taking the time to put all of this stuff out. Um, if you have small children, <laughs> obviously having a bunch of, you know, ceramics and things that are breakable or, uh, you know, candles and stuff that little fingers can easily travel into, this would not be your current setup. But, um, you know, as your kids get older, there are certainly things that I couldn't do when Stella was a young girl, but now that she is 10, she actually helps me when I'm decorating for the season. She helps me get everything out, and sometimes if she sees something that she thinks would look better somewhere else, she will share her feedback on that, and I just, I love it. I feel like this is something that Stella and I kind of bond over, and we just have a really great time with it. So um, I actually wish that she would take as much care in her room. <laughs> as she does trying to help me down here, but that's a whole nother story. So anyway, you guys, um, yeah, my, my home decor philosophy is just making it feel warm, making it feel inviting, um, certainly not totally over the top, but a little more over the top than I think what most people do in terms of seasonal decor. But again, it makes me happy, and um, since I'm not doing flowers right now, it's, these hands have to be doing something, and well, it was all of this for the last couple of weeks. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna take you through the downstairs of the house and I will show you all of the fall decor that I put out this year. I really had a lot of fun. Some of the areas are somewhat similar to the way that I decorated them last year. Um, I did this series on my channel last year as well if you wanna go check that out. Um, some things I really kind of tweaked and changed up and um, yeah, I just, I love how it turned out this year. I feel like each year I say this, but I think this year is probably my favorite in terms of the fall decor. And um, yeah, so hopefully this inspires you if you haven't already decorated for fall. Um, hopefully this makes you think about maybe 
get into that this weekend or the following weekend. I know some people like to wait until autumn officially begins, but for me, I don't know, the sooner the better because this is my favorite season. So, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started and um, let's check out the entirety of the downstairs of the house.
home decor tour for 2022. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And again, I hope it inspires you. Um, if you have any questions about where I purchased a specific item that you saw during the video, if it's still available, I will certainly send you the link. Um, honestly, a lot of these things I have collected over the years from places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. <laughs> Um, on like the just regular retail store end. Um, also, I like to go to flea markets as well as antique shops. A number of the things that you saw are from those places. Um, online Antique Farmhouse is one of my favorite places to shop. Their decor style I think really um, mirrors what my tastes are. So that's also a great place for you to check out if you have a similar style like I do. But yeah, just let me know if you have any questions at all. I just appreciate you guys being here and um, in a couple months we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do it for holiday stuff. So um, again, let me know if you have any questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or inspiring and um, please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you stick around. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo.